Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Graham Mahim and today I'm bringing you part 15 of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode, we took on Corey's gym and had quite a tough time with it. And uh, the following result of that and his daughter running away from him was that he actually killed himself. So, um, yeah, he kind of jumped off of Beryl Bridge. Which was unfortunate, even though he was just a dick to us the whole time we knew him, but... I, gu I guess it makes sense, really. I mean, the way he was thinking about it was kind of warped and, uh... Not necessarily true. But the fact is, he saw, he saw us at fault for his life being destroyed. And it was because of us that all the police force managed to get back together to ambush him and make his daughter hate him like that, which was the the, the uh, trigger for him deciding to kill himself. So in a way, it was our fault, but at the same time, you know, Team Meteor's the one that took his wife away. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Team Meteor, then the police force wouldn't have had to try and go after him in the first place because he became a part of Team Meteor. To protect his daughter, so... You know, it's, it's debatable to say whose fault it really was. But the fact is, he's now dead. And Heather's gone somewhere and we don't know where she currently is. So we're going to have to go and find her and see if she's okay. As well as find out if she's still got this uh, ruby ring. Also, I think... Uh, oh, okay, my sound wasn't playing. I just realised that. That's weird. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, if you do enjoy this video please give it a like rating to show your support leave any tips and suggestions in the comments any opinions and if i've missed any event pokemon that i hadn't already gone through in previous videos anyway then please uh, let me know and i will go and sort that out anyway let's get started so i'm gonna leave now i believe my team is fully healed okay yes they are right there's actually nothing i have to do in the barrel ward anymore as far as i'm aware now, from the encounter with Fern last time, which just completely ruined the mood that had been set by Corey's death, uh, there, um, there's two places he said we could go. Now, there was supposedly an explosion in the South Obsidia Ward, and Corey supposedly fell into the Lapis Ward. So we can go to either of those places. I'm going to go to the uh, South Obsidia Ward first because I think Lapis Ward is where we're meant to go. So I'd rather just check there first just in case. But before that, I'm just going to get a couple Pokemon. First of all, I think we can get Growlithe now. So I'm going to talk to him, this guy. By Jove, kid, you've done it. you found our entire missing police force. Um, well, there is the matter of the officer who died in service. You found his Growlithe, did you not? Like in many other regions, all of our officers are issued Growlithe as partner Pokemon, but now that its trainer is gone, that Growlithe... I would feel it an insult to the memory of my former officers to simply give that Growlithe to another new recruit. It may be difficult to understand, but if you would, please feel free to take Growlithe with you. You would have want to find it after all, and after everything you've done for us, consider it a token of appreciation. You are now an honorary member of the Reborn City Police Department. Okay, so we're taking this dude's Growlithe. Growl. Growlithe is looking at you obediently. Do you want to take Growlithe with you? Uh, no, I'm going to save again in front of it. Because I don't want to go through all that text again. Now, Growlithe's hidden ability is justified. So, if this thing has justified, then we won't need to soft reset. It's got flash fire. And it's bold, which is terrible. Yeah, Growlithe is an extremely good fire Pokemon to have. If you haven't got one yet. If you don't have your fire starter, this is probably the next best thing you'll find if you don't have normal already. I mean, Growlithe is better than normal anyway, but normal is still uh, a good option if you happen to come across it. I wouldn't say Pansy is really that good to use, but Growl uh, Growlithe is a pretty good choice. So if you don't have a fire type yet, I would suggest picking up Growlithe and putting that on your team. If you don't plan on keeping it, that's fair enough, but it'll definitely fill a gap. And it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good filler. Need to travel through the Jasper Ward? I recommend you take a few of these. What is it? Repel? Oh, well, this is convenient. I guess I'll just get four. I have some super repels already, but it never hurts to have more repel. Now, um, we've got Growlithe. I also remember before 
Back in the alley we found Electrike that we could actually find plus or and or minin if we had some pokey snacks. So that's where I'm gonna go next because they're in the Obsidia Ward and that's where I was heading anyway. So I'm just gonna go and get them. But first of all I'm gonna put Growlithe away because uh, I need to see their hidden abilities. Which I haven't actually checked now that I think about it. I should probably have done that before I started the video. <coughs> Excuse me. Come to think of it, uh, now that I've said that Growlithe would be a good fire type to have, I'm kind of considering keeping him on the team. Like, not permanently, just for the time being, I mean. Because I, I kept Clink to take grass hits and stuff, since I didn't unbug, unbug hits. Since I didn't really have anyone that did that. But Growlithe can do both, and he's he's a better fire type than Magnetric is, because Magnetric's obviously not a fire type. I do plan on getting a fire type, and I think it's coming up pretty soon. So Growlithe won't be there for long, but he could be a good Pokemon to have until I come across it. Hmm. I wonder now. Should I do that? Okay, it seems the fence that was here is gone as well, leading into the Obsidia Ward. That's interesting. Anyway, I believe, uh, I believe this is where... Oh, there's a... That's not what I was expecting to see. Can I, can I get Poke Snacks in here? Oh, look, there's a Minin. Mine? Do you want to give some Poke Snacks to Minin? Yes, I do. Minin seems willing to go with you. Do you want to accept it? Oh, oh, wait, did I do that wrong? Oh, crap, I did that wrong. I accidentally said no. Well, since I said no, I'm going to check the hidden ability, so be right back. Okay. Thinking about it, I didn't really need to check Minin's or Plusle's hidden ability, but, uh... I needed to check Litleo's anyway, but Plusle has Lightning Rod, and Minon has uh, Volt Absorb, so they're both a lot better than their original abilities. So let's see, what do you have? Lightning Rod, okay. And uh, it's Calm, I guess that's not the best thing in the world, but it's not too bad either, really. And there's Coughing here, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before in a previous video, but you can find Coughing in here, so if you want a Weezing, then there you go. Now I'm going to go put Plusle away. I don't know if we can get Minin as well as Plusle. Because uh, when I went to try and get the other one, it didn't appear. Wait, hang on. I'm the daycare man. I hope to take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. Okay. So there's the daycare, dude. Sweet. Alright, I'm putting Plusle away. I'm thinking I'll put Litwick away. Uh, not Litwick. Um, Clink away as well. Because uh, I don't know if I can get uh, Minin too. But if I can, then I'll want two party slots free, so I'm just going to put Clink away temporarily. So you just stay there, even though uh, that's not where you go. I don't know why I put you in box three. You go here. Alright, I'm just going to go get them then. I wonder if anyone's in the daycare, actually. I know the woman is. I'm the daycare lady. We can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like us to raise one? No, I wouldn't, but that would be interesting to abuse, actually. Hmm, maybe I should. Who do I have? Who do I have that would be appropriate for this? Um. Hmm, well, I don't need to put an electric type in there because I already have my neck trick. Growlithe might be an idea to put in. Then again, I'm only going to be using him for very shortly. And he's going to be replaced, so I don't need him, do I? I could put Snubble. Snubble would make for a pretty decent fairy type, actually. I did use Swirlix last time, and he was quite helpful between Unbird and, and Cotton Guard, but I want to try using someone else. Rattled isn't that bad of an ability, and Snubble's actually got some pretty good attack, so a nice play rough can actually do wonders to the enemy. Hmm. There is also uh, Noibat as well. I could get a pretty powerful Noivan from that, but I don't remember how it evolves. I'm not sure if it's through friendship or or um, level. Hmm. And there's Onyx too. He's a good rock type. I think... Oh, and there's Clink as well, of course. There's Clink. Um, yeah, I think... I think... I'm going to... Well, see, the thing is, I don't need Noivern if I'm putting Snubble in there. Because Snubble takes care of dragons way better than Noivern does, and there's not really much else I could use Noivern for that I can't get Meowstic or any future Psychic types to handle. 
because flying is good against grass, it's good against bug, and it's good against fighting. It might be good against something else, but those are the three I remember. But I've got my neck trick, a fire type, and uh, meow stick. So I don't need flying. And again, fairy does a dragon type's job better. So I'm not going to use Noibat. I'm going to get Snobble. And just because Clink has been helping me. Um, actually, you know what? No, I want to keep Clink in my party for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put Onyx in there. Alright, so Snubble and Onyx, they're going to go in the daycare. That's a weird combination, but <laughs> they're going in. Snubble. And Onyx. There we go. Okay, I don't know if they're going to make babies or not, because I don't know their egg groups. Ah, uh, it's, good, it's, it's good to see you. They're doing just fine. They prefer to play with other Pokemon. Okay, so that means they're not going to breed. But that's fine with me, because I just wanted them in there for their levels anyway. <coughs> They'll also learn moves while they're in there. Might get rid of a good move, I'm not sure, but, uh... Hang on, I'm going to save just in case mine will appear as well. Oh, it's a Plusle. I've already got one of those. I don't need Plusle. Alright, maybe I have to leave and come back in if I want mine. Well, better yeah, I can just soft reset. That saves a lot of time, and I don't have to deal with the wild Pokemon. There we go, Minin. There we go. We got Minin, hooray. Now, do you have Volt Absorb? Yes, you do. And you are bold. So we got a careful Plusle and a bold Minin. They actually seem quite... Uh, Quite, um, not contrary, what's the other one? I, I, I don't know what the word is, but <laughs> they seem to reflect off each other quite well, is what I'm trying to say. Like, more than they already did. Oh, come on, stop giving me these wild Pokemon, man. I just want to get the Litleo. Litleo's hidden ability is actually Moxie, so that's not a bad ability for it, I guess. R Seriously? I took one step. Get out of my way! I think this might actually have to be my first repel. I, I I can't do this. Munch, munch, munch. Leo? Lit Leo? It got spooked and ran off. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, I've got Poke Snacks. Why did that happen? I'm not sure if that's meant to happen. You know what? For now, I'm going to leave that alone. Because I don't know. I don't know. Actually, hang on. I'm going to check what happens with that. Because I'm not sure if Litleo completely disappears or not. So give me a second. Okay, I did spoil myself ever so slightly as to what's coming up. But Litleo is meant to run away like that. So we're just going to go uh, sort out this Litleo event real quick. <sighs> and hopefully we're not going to run into too many wild Pokemon. I don't want to use a repel just for this one alley because it feels like a waste. But it's so annoying running into all these wild Pokemon. They're so much more frequent in here. They weren't this frequent before either. I don't know what the deal is. Come on, man. Let me out. Alright, there we go. I also just realized I don't need to use Cut here anymore. So I don't actually need Glammeow in my party. Um, hello, Lit Leo. He keeps running away from me. Now, I'm going to save here. Because there's not really there's not really anywhere to go while he's here. Leo! That's a cling clang cry. Lee, Lee, Lee. Oh, shit. I knew there were clink in here, but I didn't think there'd be one of these. Lee? Alright, so we're... Uh, we're now fighting a Kling Clang. Mecha Nightmare. Why did it look so different? And why did I lead to a Grow Vial? This is terrible. Uh, let's switch to May Neck Trick. I'm gonna... Oh, that thing's level 35. I just noticed that. But thanks for the... Thanks for the uh, free special attack boost. Maybe leading Grow Vial was, was a good idea just so I could get that. Sweet. I don't think there's anything this thing can really do to my main neck trick either. It's a high level, but it can't do much to me. Look, there we go. That was nice to hit KO. Duped it. Sweet. We took it out. Bye, Clink Clang. Lit Litleo! Litleo! We got Litleo. 
So you should have Moxie. Please. Alright, you've got Moxie. That means I don't have to do that again. Litleo is also another very good fire type to have. Uh, I'm not sure when Litleo appears. I'm not sure if it's after the second gym or not. When I was looking up the Litleo side quest, uh, I saw a post that said they were looking for a good fire type Pokemon prior to Florinius gym. So, and if that's coming up during a Litleo search, then maybe you can find it beforehand. I think... I think you have to beat Florinia's gym to find it, but if you don't, then it likely only appears during the day because it's daytime for me right now, and that's the only time I've seen it there, so... Uh, regardless, Litleo is also a good fire type to have. Litleo or Growlithe either work, but uh, obviously Growlithe is the higher level, and Arcanine is the better Pokemon, so uh, that's probably the more worthwhile keep. Um... I'm not sure whether I want to keep Clink. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Glamio away because I don't think I really need Glamio anymore since all the cut trees have disappeared. So I'm going to leave Glamio on the PC for now and I'm going to keep Clink and Growlithe on me. Alright, so we got Growlithe, we got Plusle, we got Minin, and we happen to run into Litleo. So that's it with the event Pokemon. Now, Fern said something was going on down here, I believe. So I'm going to just. I'm just going to take a quick look around and see if anything's going on. And if not, then whatever. Oh, hello. You weren't here. Now, this right here, this is peace. In the city, peace. Okay. I guess you just appeared because it's daytime now. I don't think there's anything around here that I haven't already seen. That being said, though. Okay, I can't come in here. I think... I think there's actually a way to access the Ureu building, if I remember correctly, and it, there, it was somewhere around here. We might need the Undergrail... Undergrail? I think we need to go through the Underground Rail Net in order to access it, but I'm not 100%. That might be what Fern was on about in regards to the explosion, but... I'm not sure. We'll see, I suppose. Right, this is the South Obsidia Ward. Everything does look destroyed, but it doesn't look like there's uh, been an explosion we hadn't seen already. Um, did I talk to you before? I'll get a fix, yeah. I think he fought me. Well, let's try the other side of the South Obsidia Ward then. Because <coughs> this side didn't have anything. But this side might. It doesn't seem like it does. No, it just seems like the slums. Doesn't seem to be anything here. I guess I'll check the building here too, but this is where Lillipop was. Uh, sorry, I meant to the what? Okay, right. Yeah, I guess uh, what, what Fern said about an explosion in the South Obsidia Ward wasn't really uh, anything we needed to take particular interest in. I guess we can, we can just uh, go up to the Lapis Ward and carry on. I didn't think there was anything there, but it never hurts to check. Okay, there's more trainers there, so I'm going to have to keep looking around and see if, can, see if anyone else has been added to this little circle. <coughs> uh, it doesn't seem like there has been, but never hurts to check. I called it a circle when it's clearly a square. What's wrong with me? Alright, trainer. Who do I have in lead? Grovile? Okay, good enough. Hello, dude. I'm not really psychic. I wonder if I know how to levitate these. Or how I levitate these. Might be. This is actually the first psychic we've seen. And he's got Oregon too. That's interesting. That actually did quite a lot of damage. Man, Oregon 2 with EVO lights devastating. This thing doesn't even have it. I just imagine what it'd be like with one. Like, almost as bad as that dust cops we read about in the trainer's school. It's electromagnetism. But shush, don't tell anyone. Okay. I can fight you too, right? Yeah. Ohio, I come from very far away and wish to test your Pokemon's abilities. Sweet. You do that then, gal. Miku. Okay, Grovile actually can't do anything to flying types. Go, Manectric. You solve this problem. 
missed. Mist changes the terrain in this game? I never would have guessed that. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I'll have to be wary if that ever any of my Pokemon ever decide to learn Mist. I don't think they do, but... You know, if I ever get a Pokemon that learns Mist, I might have to teach it just for the terrain alone. Ooh, Discharge. This is a good move to have. I think I'm going to get rid of Spark. Because Discharge is stronger than Spark and it has the para chance just like Spark. Alright, staying in for the bite. Even though Curly is a fairy type in this game, so that was a pretty stupid idea. Alright, Discharge then. Discharge should KO it. Show me what you're worth, my neck trick. There we go. And I just realized that's a special attack EV. I finally have one. In my own country, I'm a rock star. So, is she based on Hatsune Miku then? That's what it seems like. Oh, look, a trainer. OMG, I challenge you. I was not expecting that. I will not lie. <laughs> yeah. Akemi, you can have a snubble. Well, you're low of my attack, so I think that calls for some mega drains. I needed my HP back anyway, so... Let's do it. Lick. Of course you got a crit. I'm trying to restore my health so you get a crit. I almost would have rather had the paralysis if that's what was going to happen. And Grand Ball too, huh? Uh, I think I'm going to go into Meowstic and hit it with some Psy Shocks. For this, I would have stayed into Grovile, but I don't think Mega Drain will do that much. And my attack is already lowered. So I'd rather just use Meowstic to take it out. I would have went into Magnectric and Discharge, but his health is already pretty low, so that just doesn't seem like a good idea, really. What? How? You must have cheated. Ah! Okay. I'm just relieved no one was hurt. First the Peridot Station, and now this. Also, the explosion must have been near here. Huh, yeah, that's a mess, all right. I heard a huge noise come from up ahead. Yeah, the explosion was this way. The Grand Stairway is in ruins, even though the Grand Gates don't open anymore, it's like a, not like anyone could get out of the city anyway. Huh, yeah, that's a mess alright, did I? Yeah, spoke to you. On this day, humanity received a grim reminder. That's a reference to something, but I forgot what it was. I'm telling you, this city just ain't safe anymore. I don't get it. The Grand Gates haven't opened in decades, and so no one's even using the Grand Stairway anymore. Why blow it up? There is a reason. Well, why would anyone do something like this? All civilians, please remain calm. There is no immediate threat. Could he all say the same thing? Seems that way. Alright, rock. Nothing. Okay. Who are you, dude? Uh, yes, I'm the move delete. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Okay, well, that's interesting to note. I don't think we really need it, seeing as they're TMXs and not HMs, but they're still... Excuse me, I'm looking for a strange Pokemon. If you would find a Sunken for me, I will trade one of my prize Pokemon for it. I think this guy used to ask for a Deli Bird or offered a Deli Bird or something, so he might just give you a Deli Bird. I don't know though. I don't get it. Someone blew up the Grand Stairway? Jeez, half of North Obsidia was already destroyed in earthquakes. Now this? Nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah, the blast type was a fairly controlled radius. It's usually for a municipal demolition. So this wasn't an accident. So they deliberately demolished the, stair the stairway, did they? Interesting. Damage report complete. It seems peripheral structures were only damaged minimally. Uh, so it, it seems like they were targeting just the grand stairway. This is probably the work of Team Meteor, but the question is why? Oh, nice rock gem. Sweet. Didn't actually expect to find anything here. Wondering what this marvel is? Kids these days don't know a thing. Well, I, I am new to this place, dude. These here are the Grand Gates to Reborn City. They used to be the main passage between the city and the Aventurine region. But massive as they are, they haven't opened in longer than anyone can remember. I love watching the Celestine in uh, Cascade. That's a mouthful. It reminds me of what things must have been like here before the poison. The poison of the uh, toxic lake, I'm assuming they mean. Anyway, give me a second. Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna go this way. I think I'm meant to go left first, so I wanna check out the right, just to see what's here. Purple shard. Gotcha. There's a dude. 
Spare some change. Oh, you're a trainer battle, are you? You didn't want me to go up them stairs. That probably means there's something of some sort of importance up them stairs. Because they only seem to put trainers where they're blocking the way in this game. Yeah, poison powder isn't affecting me even without a terrain. Uh, is that a, is that a glitch? Why would, why would they go and use poison powder on a grass type if it doesn't work? I don't understand that. The, the AI is not being very smart when it comes to poison powder, I've noticed. I thought poison powder did affect grass type Pokemon, though. Okay, Grow Vile, this has to stop. You've missed a 95% hit move three times. How? You hit all those times against Fern when you weren't even listening to me, but now that you are listening, you're not even being accurate. What's the problem here? Man. Alright, I'm switching out to Meow Stick. I'm going to hit this thing with a side shot. Could probably have flame bursted it, but Meow Stick's about to level up, and this will definitely knock it out, so. Yeah. There we go. Hit for Patos. Patos, even. Alright, I'm just going to Mega Drain this thing. Get all that health back that I lost while there's a sandstorm. Lovely. It should knock it out. No? Really? Wow. I'm actually surprised I didn't knock it out. Okay. And now he's using Dig. Um. Do I have a switch for this? No. Clink and Growlithe will just die. I guess I'll just leave Grovile out. I'll just use Agility. I don't think he has any other Pokemon, but it's not like I'm really using Agility anyway, so... PP Waste. And now I'm gonna hit it with another... Mega Drain. I don't think Fury Cutter will kill it. It probably would, but I don't want to risk it. Because then I'll just get hit with another Dig and all this Sandstorm damage will be racking up. That's fine. You know, not many people come down this way anymore. And yeah, with that explosion, uh, there's no surprise. Ability Capsule, that's useful. I could use that at some point. Oh. Oh, I know this place. Yo, bro. You know where you are? You with the Magma Gang. You know where you should be? Anywhere else. Get out. Hey, yo, this is Magma Gang property. Best be tailing off. Yo, make like a babe and head out. Magma gang only passed here. You want in, you gotta join our little family. Actually, you interested? Not yet. Then scram. Didn't I tell you to get? Look, only magma gang members are allowed in here, so you ain't gonna pass. That is unless you wanna join us. I... I do want to join them eventually, but I'm not going to for right now. Oh, hello, there's people everywhere. Welcome, this is the meeting place of Reborn's History Club. Isn't it wonderful? I don't know. Would you like to hear about Opal Ward? Sure. Opal Ward is right in the heart of Reborn. It's one of the busiest wards, often bustling with trainers and pedestrians. Opal Bridge, the walkway between the lower level of the ward and the Obsidia Ward in itself is a renowned battling location. New trainers show up there for challenges all the time, so always be on your guard. Yeah, I've noticed that. Of course, should you need to heal, simply stroll down to the Grand Hall, one of the largest buildings in Reborn and the only one in Opal. The Grand Hall has its own center, mart, and is generally a hub for the Reborn League. It's a great place. <coughs> the Obsidia Ward is Reborn's largest ward, oftentimes considered in two separate halves, the Main and South area and North Obsidia. Of course, we're in North Obsidia now, but the two halves have, been, have even been cut off from each other after the recent earthquakes. Oh my. After all, underneath the Obsidia Ward is a network of railway tunnels. When the earthquakes hit, the hollow foundation gave way. Not only is the tunnel unusable, but much of the ward was destroyed, including the headquarters of Reborn's largest company, Ureu. While North Obsidia features the massive Grand Stairway, a monument leading outside the city, South Obsidia is now the prime commercial district. There are salons, shops, and even a beautiful park all along Main Street. Yeah, well, they could, uh... Make it look a little more beautiful, considering how wrecked the ward is. Onyx Ward. The Onyx Ward is one of the finest residential wards in the city. This may perhaps be because of its close location to the Onyx Trainers School. More than just the school, it also doubles as a Reborn League gym. Young trainers of all kinds flock there for their own reasons. Between that and the Onyx Arcade, the Onyx Ward is one of the most youthful and lively places in the city. Yeah, probably thanks to Fern. Hello, would you like to hear about Perido? The Perido Ward is the second largest in the city. More than any other, however, it's also primarily an industrial ward. 
factories and warehouses line its shores of Azurian Lake. Many lower income people live there too. Unfortunately, as a result, the Peridot Ward has become notorious for homelessness and gang activity. On a lighter note, the power plant and Reborn League Gym is also located there, not far from the Peridot Station, the best way in and out of Reborn. Cool. Jasper Ward. The bordering the peaceful Malchus Forest, or Malchus, I don't know how you say that, the Jasper Ward is a very moderate residential area. Many families of middle class left there, or I should correct, it did until quite recently. With the recent overexpansion of the Malchus Forest, Jasper has become somewhat of a ruin, sadly. You're not wrong. Lapis Ward. This would be interesting to know, because I'm heading there. The Lapis Ward is one of the highest class in Reborn. Perhaps rivaled only by the Onyx Ward, it's an ideal place for a family with some of the lowest crime rates in the city. It's also one of the few locations unaffected by recent disasters. Well, apart from that, uh, that suicide. But I guess this guy might not know about that yet. Most notably in the Lapis Ward are a Reborn League gym. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there is. I forgot about that. And Dr. Connell's Orphanage. You can hardly miss them. The Beryl Ward. Bordering the Rodocrine Jungle, the Beryl Ward is among the larger wards in Reborn. Although the recent disaster has spelled an end for much of its residents, Beryl has, was formerly a very unique middle-class community. It also held the reputation of being one of the sightseeing places in the city, as it is the highest up ward. It offers great views of the Tourmaline Desert, Reborn City, and even the Azurin region. Huh, really? Uh, Coral Ward, yeah. The Coral Ward is the smallest ward of Reborn, tucked into the corner of the Azurian Lake near South Obsidia. Its main attraction has been its port. Coral is normally a very lively location full of hard workers and tourists travelling the lake. Unfortunately, thanks to the recent water quality, there's been little need to go down there. Well, I know I had to to save the daycare couple and to get Spoink and Happini, but uh, yeah, beyond that, not really. Oh, hello, what's this? This is Reborn's Geography Club. Oh no, there's more to this. <coughs> Would you like to hear about the Azurian region? Oh, they're going over other regions, okay. The Azurian region lies across Azurian Lake from Reborn City. Full of beaches and mountains, it's quite an empty place, speaking in terms of the locals. In fact, there's only one settlement there, on the Apothal Beach, where there is a small academy. Sometimes trainers who wish not to study in the city will go there instead. There are also some islands not far off, known as the Azurin Islands. Little is known about those. Finally, a massive volcano known as Pyrus Mountain towers above the area, shedding a layer of ash across it. Bixby's and Wasteland. Let's hear about, uh... Kane's home, because I'm pretty sure it is after what he said. The Bixbizion Wasteland is a treacherous jumble of debris that surrounds the entire southern border of the Reborn region. Those who venture far out into seldom return. Oh, far out into seldom return. Okay, that's a weird sentence. So little is known about it. But whispers of discovered ruins and objects suggest perhaps there was once something else beneath the filth. Something of a, something from a story since past and forgotten. Or eh, it could simply be a rumour. I don't know why that was thrown in there, but okay. Chrysolia region. Much of Chrysolia is an old forest, formerly connecting the route between Reborn City and the Mysidia region. Of other landmarks include the quaint Spinal Town and the Tanzan Mountain area, a network of sprawling trails and caves. Interesting. Interested in learning about Reborn's geography? Splendid, I'll give you one quick tip. Oftentimes we refer to places, for instance, the Azurin region, just so with the word region. While it may be confusing to some, this is this use of the word region varies from that of places, for instance, the Hoenn region, Kanto region, or Reborn region. When we talk about regions here, think of them more as sub-regions, as they are all places within the greater Reborn region. Okay, I think we established that anyway, but thanks for making it more confusing. The adventuring region lies just north of here, through the Grand Gates. On the whole, it's one of the most beautiful places in Reborn, with lush forest, rich peaks, and even a special crystal valley. Also around the Celestine, Celestinine River, the famous Agate Circus and Agate Town with a history older than it belies. Agate is in Ore though. <laughs> as well as a mysterious castle. Tourmaline Desert. I'm actually curious about this one. The Tourmaline Desert reaches for miles, bordering the north part of the Reborn region. Many newcomers travel via train across the desert from very far away. What those trainers don't know is the desert's mysterious history. The train tracks have had to be rebuilt several times thanks to a multitude of strained accidents. 
I didn't read that. Parts rests out in the middle of the desert. Sometimes it even stands in the shadow of an enormous tower. But as soon as you blink, the tower vanishes. How curious. So Mirage Tower's in this desert too, is it? Carnelia region. Okay, I don't actually know about this one. The Carnelia region is home to the twin cities of Calcinon and Labradora. Those names are familiar, but I'm not sure I've been there yet. They rest in the valley of some of the tallest mountains in Reborn. They're all topped with icy peaks. The largest by far is Amatrine Mountain. It overshadows even the most important Charis Mountain, where the Reborn League champion waits. Charis Mountain is where the Reborn League champion is, is it? That's interesting. Reborn Nightclub. Can we go in here? Yeah, I don't think we can. No, I can't. Okay. Well, we learned a lot of shit, but that's pretty much everything there is around here. Uh, we'll probably be heading back to the Magma Gang later, but for now, let's just go up this way. Because I believe this is where the Lapid Ward is. I can hardly believe it. The stairway looks terrible. Such gorgeous, pristine water flowing in from the Carnelian Mountains. This waterfall feeds the Azuran Lake, which means all this water is going to be contaminated. That's a sad thought. But it's not wrong either. Lapis is the richest ward in Reborn. Unfortunately, that also makes it a prime target for gang activity. I mean, it supposedly has the lowest crime rates, but I guess it makes sense if it's that rich. Anyway, I'm going to stop this episode here. And we will continue going on into the uh, the uh, Lapis Ward in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like rating to show your support. Be sure to leave comments giving tips, advice, opinions, and letting me know where I can find some event where I can find some events Pokemon I have missed. Subscribe to watch more of this playthrough as well as other uh, content like this. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.